Hi, my name is Kala. I'm a Looker Studio expert, and today we will talk about page navigation. First of all, how we can open this menu? I can close it for, for now. We have page menu in our header, and here we have new page, duplicate, delete, current page settings, and manage pages. Also, we can go to pay, manage pages, this menu here, and uh, yeah, our sidebar is open. And we can observe what do we have here. Uh, we have here a search box if you have too many pages. And current dashboard, I have seven, and uh, all of them just for my video tutorials, so no secret information there. Some of them broken already, it doesn't matter. We just care that these are pages mm, because we have four types of objects that we can add here to our menu. We have page, section, divider, and header, four different types. All these seven stuff, it is their pages. Let's observe which settings do we have. When we move our mouse, we can see three dots, and what do we have here? We can rename, duplicate, delete, hide in a view mode, uh, select icon and move to oh just move somewhere move to uh, up or down but for moving I prefer use this stuff I just uh, move my, our, my mouse to the left side and just drag and drop it where I want to see this page for me it's more easier to move pages up and down but we can remain page, uh, rename our page. I don't know what to say. Facebook ads over you. Uh, press enter. Uh, that is it. Uh, duplicate, delete. I think it's easy. Hide in view mode. This is a really nice feature. If we go to view mode, we can see seven pages. We can see all of them. Uh, but if some page is not ready for now, or we don't, just don't want to show it um, by some reason, we can hide in view mode. In this case, in edit mode, we will see all pages. In view mode, we will see only six. And Facebook page is hidden. I can show it. I can show it back. So super easy. Then we can select icon. Mm, we have some list of icons that we can choose. For example, I want to, I don't know, Facebook, let's use hashtag for Facebook, and we can see icon here. And in a view mode, again, we can see that other pages, they don't have icons, they just have regular paper, and here we have icon. Yes. Sometimes it's a really nice feature. Um, yeah, so that is it, other stuff. Um, so we talked about pages. Next option, it is section. If we have, for example, several pages for Facebook, several pages for Google, or some, I don't know, social media section from several pages, or paid ads, several pages, we can divide them by section. I just click here and uh, where is my section? It should appear somewhere. Okay, I can reload the page. If I don't see the result, I can just reload the page. Click pages. Okay, unlisted, untitled section. I can um, rename it. Calculate it something. I don't know. And here we have. Uh, we can just take our page, like calculated metrics, and move it, drag and drop to our section. And we can see that um, some we created group of two pages. Where is it? Yeah. Now we can see, and we cannot create add uh, icon for each page, but we can add icon for the whole section. <clears throat> I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, and we can open and close it. And in view mode, if we go to the view mode, we can see that we don't have see all pages, but we can see this section and we can open it and go down 
and go deeper to each page. So this is a section. And we have two more elements here. Uh, and if you want to ungroup, you just drag and drop element and put out of the section. Uh, the section we can add a page, hide, uh, but basically the same stuff as for pages. Also, we have divider. Uh, divider, which is just a thin line. Uh, for example, if uh, you kind of have sections, but you don't have many pages there, so maybe it's divider will be enough for you, or you want to split several parts of dashboard. In the view mode here, basically we don't have too many options here, just delete or move somewhere. And in the view mode, we have this thin line. It is it is our divider. So we just split our dashboard for two sections. And what else do we have here? And header. Header, for example, we can add it. Let's add it between these two pages. And uh, oh, we can just rename it or delete. No much options. You put it between some pages. Uh, it works like a divider, like this line, but uh, we can change the title. So if you go to the view mode, we can see, OK, divider is here, is a thin line. Then we have section, pages, and header, we can see that it is header. So this is nice stuff as well. So if you have like paid ad section, or you can rename it to paid ads, then social ads, and so on. It's really comfortable to use and helps to organize your dashboard and helps your customers to understand your dashboard better. That is it, basically. What do we have in a page mode? And we have several options of our layout. Let's go to theme and layout. Uh, layout and uh, navigation type. We have several options here. We have left, tab, top left, and hidden. Uh, let's check uh, left size. In when we selected it here, we have our left menu. We can hide it, and anyway, we will see icons. So for left menu, icons are super comfortable to use. Uh, yeah, and we can open it to see the full name. Then theme and layout, we have tab. This I use quite often, actually. Uh, why I cannot choose tab? Yeah. Uh, tab, we have line here with my pages. In this case, maybe icons not so nice to use. Uh, but yeah, it's type of menu that I use quite often, actually. And uh, we have Top left, it's what I had before when I have this small icon here and open panel by the click. Um, OK, let's go for some page with data. And uh, we can just hide it. So if we don't want to show, we can just hide it. And uh, another checkbox, represent report theme. In this case, we can change colors of our navigation menu. We can now I use this stuff. And uh, in theme, when I customize my theme, I have, if I scroll down, I can see page navigation style. And uh, I can change it to, let's do some random stuff. Yeah, you can see green one. I just change it to green one. Uh, but basic Google theme, it's white and blue. And if we don't use report styles, it will be white and blue by default. So that is it about navigation. Hope you like it. Let me know what do you think. What is your type of menu that you prefer? And uh, yeah, see you soon. Hope you like this video.